Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex, and today we are drinking, believe it or not, the whiskey. I, I know! <laughs> uh, so, yeah, yeah, got? yeah. So this is, here's the thing, I don't know entirely who gave us to this one to us, but I know Mitch Weddle gave us a bottle of this. Okay. I don't know if this is the bottle he gave us. Sure. I think it is. Okay. But here's the it's cool got an thing. Autograph on it. I know. That's the distiller. Oh, nice. Is it? It's a signed bottle from Stephen B. Beam of limestone branch, 100% malted rye. Right on. Malted rye. Yeah. So we're just so, gonna say this is a Weddell Titan. Full Weddell Titan. Dude, it, we, we, it's not ready. Because of reasons. We had a whole dry week to figure it out. Re reason. Where we did absolutely nothing else. Reason. Just sat around. Okay. Make sure that's in there properly. Check it out. Can I tickle it? Just the tip. Just tickle on the tip. Okay, so you said something about the 100% rye. malted rye. These are the guys that do Yellowstone Branch, um, Minor Case, or Yellowstone, Limestone Branch, and Minor Case. This this is a distilling family that goes back seven generations. There's a sticker on here mm -hmm. you may or may not know about. The sticker that says experiment? Yes. Do we know about Ex the experiment? I, I couldn't figure out what made this one okay. the experiment. I do know it's a specialty bottling for that market. Cacos? 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 I don't know. But experimental collection number two. 100% malted rye. Okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's got like a... Well, there's like, there's a fruitiness in there. So much so, almost wow. melon like, yeah. like uh, like honeydew. I don't, I don't know that I've ever gotten wow. honeydew melon on a rye before. Yeah, no, this is one of the fruitier ryes I've ever had. And then you get like a really nice. Wow, the nose on this is really lovely. It really there, is. There it's, is there's like a thread of vanilla on top of that fruitiness. If I had to pick a word, I would pick elegant. Ah. You know what I mean? So fancy. Like it's dressed up. And then it's going the, out for the, for the night. And then what I would expect from that rye character, it's underneath a little layer of vanilla with this body of fruitiness, and then there's this rye spice. It's closer to a dessert pastry, mm -hmm. right? Where all the spice is inside of a sweet bread. That's super lovely on the nose. Oh, it really? You is. can just like live in the nose for a while. Oh. oh. It tastes good. The spice shows up more, the oak shows up, and then the fruitiness is more fruity. It's more like that sweet, natural, fruity presence on the nose than it is on the taste. Yeah. It turns into like a syrupy, oaky, yeah. rice spicy flavor. But it's still flavor. rich, and it's still very buttery. Yeah. That's a really interesting and nice rice. You know, that is only 16 months old. Can you believe that? 16 months. That's impressive. That is impressive. I mean, if you go back to it after taking a sip, right? then there's more of the grain mash notes in there now, Yeah. right, than there was originally. Yeah, yeah, after you take a sip, it doesn't unlock those. And then that fruitiness is subsides a little bit, but. But it's still all, it's still all there. It doesn't go away. Man. Wow, that just has so much flavor that I would not expect from a whiskey so young. Yeah, I totally Spe agree. Specific flavors that I attribute to older whiskeys, they're showing up in 16 the months. Thing is, we get that, uh, we get younger whiskeys tasting older in Texas, but they don't go this direction. They go more deep, dark molasses wood notes. This has gone more grass mm -hmm. and fresh grass and fruit. On the and taste. And honey and... I get the, what you mean, like the grassiness mm -hmm. once you get into the flavor, the taste yeah. of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, mm. you know, uh, should I read you a little bit of poetry that Mike Catan wrote little, about rye whiskey? Little whip. Oh, okay. Relevant to rye whiskey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. All right. Here it is. Here it is. I found it. I've tried and tried, but I do not like rye whiskey, man. I do not like it. Catan, I am. <laughs> would you like it here or there? Would you like it anywhere? I would not like it here or there. I would not like it anywhere. I do not like rye whiskey, man. I do not like it. Catan, I am. Would you like it in the day? Would you like it with Steve Ray? <laughs> and it carries on. Yeah. It carries on. Yeah. It's uh, just bursting with originality. Just 
bursting the, the, with it. The meter. Like my favorite. The pacing. Mike Catan is uh, one of our whiskey sommeliers. He's a badass, and he's the guy that we like to use as the class punching bag, even when he's not in the class. Mm. <laughs> Cinnamon starts showing up. This changes from so many times. First approach with the nose, and then the first sip, and then yeah, the more you live with it, the more. It evolves and changes and switches up. Moving on. Oh, okay. Steve favorite. He's a favorite. Oh, okay. You gotta watch this with CC turn on. Oh, turned on. Yeah, the yeah the closed captioning. Closed captioning. So so we don't do any closed captioning for these. But one day they get because little, someone commented. They get a little. Risky. I turned it on for YouTube. Mm -hmm. I would love to see people putting the most interest entertaining version of CC with uh, quotation marks. We should do an episode. Yeah. Get the YouTube automated CC closed yeah. captions and then go back and do the exact same episode, but with the closed caption that YouTube gave us. Yeah, as our script. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> so, <laughs> Man, this tastes like wieners and birds, Daniel. What do you think, Dave? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, red balloon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, pleasantly surprised, especially considering the age on this thing. Yeah, me too. I'm a fan. Uh, I think uh, the most enjoyment came from the very first approach in the nose and the very first sip. The longer I lived with it, it stayed really nice, but it was that first approach. It was truly magical. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, you fight for a friend. You steal me, you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, Drop a question or comment down below.